Ashley, being from England and then coming all the way out here, not even to an East Coast school, but all the way to the West Coast, how hard of a toll was that on you in terms of being away from your family and creating new relationships? My freshman year was really hard. I came in in summer because our coaches always want us to like get accustomed to you know college life, you know make friends with everybody else in our class. Um, and luckily my class are all really friendly. A lot of them knew each other anyway because they played soccer with each other out here. Um, I knew their names, I didn't know who they were because it's hard for me to have known because I'm out in England. Um, so we were able to bond a lot but then schooling out here is a lot different than home. Like at home in your last like two years of high school you specialize in three subjects and I always knew that I wanted to go like healthcare the medicine route so I specialized in biology chemistry and sports science and then I came here and my first class was to write like a 10 page essay like a research mm -hmm. paper and I had never written like a paper before um, I'm very very competitive in school I'm a lot harder on my I'm actually I'm just as hard on myself in school as I am in soccer so it was really hard for me that I wasn't like finding it easy and something that I could just flow right from England and my education system there to here um, and then transitioning to soccer was also difficult because like the education system playing soccer is not the same worldwide like there's things that I've been brought up being coached to do when I was back in England that they don't do here and they prioritize different things like soccer here is very athletic and now it's more technical but the foundation of a good soccer player out here is to be athletic to be strong to be fast and luckily I'd always worked on that at home um, and would like work through it but all of that like everything coming together it was just like an accumulation of things that were overwhelming and it was hard for me to kind of just separate myself from those things and just enjoy being here um, just because like I said I'm very competitive like those school and soccer I want to be like fine in the first place and then everything else kind of just falls after that and I'll, I would be okay but it took me a while it took me like halfway three quarters of the way through my freshman like season fall um, to actually feel confident in myself and not be like homesick anymore being competitive can easily become overwhelming, especially mm -hmm. when you're transitioning to a new place. What did you learn the most about yourself, especially in that first season here? Um, I learned that not everything is just going to be like plain sailing, you know, like mm -hmm. everything when I was at home, not to say that it was easy, but I got into a routine. And as soon as anybody's in a routine, it becomes easy to stick to that routine and just know that you have to repeat the same actions over and over again. Like when I was here, everything was new and um, my competitive competitiveness kind of like it was it wasn't like at a healthy level where it was spurring me on to do well in those things. It was like, okay, I want to do really well, but it's overwhelming. And because I feel this overwhelming like emotion, I'm just like, it's just drowning me. And in the end, like sometimes when that happens to me and a lot of other people, it's just like, you don't want to do anything. Mm -hmm. You know, like I'd, I'm like, I should probably go home. This was probably a wrong decision. And mm -hmm. you just think of the worst case scenario. Being away from home, you're being away from your family and the people that you were so used to being around all the time. Mm -hmm. How important was the family aspect and cultivating your own family here right. so that way you can make it through your mm -hmm. four seasons? That's honestly like my favorite question because that's the whole reason I play anyway. I've never been somebody who plays like soccer for my myself as much yeah. as I enjoy it. I like being a part of a team. Like I can't imagine being on an individual sport because it's completely different. Um, so I'm like a huge family person. I have three younger siblings. Um, I have little cousins out here and everything I ever did at home was like with my family. I didn't, I sacrificed like a young adult teenage social life. So when I came out here it was obviously didn't have my parents and my siblings and they were like the main part of my whole life and um, 
I had to find another way to get that and I got that through my team. So my luckily like I said my class are all super we're all super close. We're all very different but we all shared like common goals within soccer and school and who we are as people. Um, so yeah, family in terms of my actual family and my team. Sometimes it's hard to distinguish because they've <laughs> ended up coming becoming my family. You talked about moving on to the next chapter and you're here and mm -hmm. that means moving back to England but your time here I would say is a really special time especially as a female athlete as a woman soccer player here in the US. What are some of the things people uh, things they stand for as far as the US women's national team that inspired you mm -hmm. during your time here that you can take back home? Um. I always, even when I was in England, I always admired the US national team just because I felt like I, how they were as people, it really resonated with me. Mm -hmm. You know, like like I said before, they their foundation is to be a good athlete and then the soccer comes once you've built that foundation. Yes. And um, I always felt like that, you know, I felt like if I'm strong and I am, I like that's why I like watching, um, I watched like the Serena Williams documentary <laughs> um, a few weeks ago and I just love that, um, you know, females can be so strong and so good in their sport through their athletic ability and then, because I feel like athletic ability and talent are actually separate until an athlete brings them together, mm -hmm. you know, so um, I always notice that with the US team, like they, their athletic ability just overpowers every other country. Last thing, Ashley, when you are as competitive as you are, your sport is everything that you do. It's mm. everything that you know, and it's what you're living in right now. But if you could sum up the one thing outside, off of the field, that your time here has taught you, what would that be? Um, Sounds kind of cliche, but not to take anything for granted. I actually just had my like exit interview with Steve Lopes and we were just chatting about like my experience and if there were anything that I could change, what would it be? And I said to him, I was like, well, it's hard for me to say we should have this more or this should change because this whole experience in general is something I never thought I would experience. I didn't even know existed. The fact that people like my age can be provided with so much like a free education, free housing, living somewhere completely like unknown to them and being able to just learn how to be independent and grow up. I think how can you like ask for more, you know, like I, I never, I never thought I would be able to experience anything like mm -hmm. this so it's hard for me to be like well this should happen too you know mm -hmm. like I said I don't know I don't know what the future holds but I can't imagine I'm gonna have an experience like this ever again mm -hmm. so if I could help somebody else have that same experience and feel the same way I do after three and a half years of being here then I would love to because I've enjoyed every second of it well best mm -hmm. of luck to you, you and whatever comes next and thank you for taking the time yeah thank you